special guest. Okay. Yeah. It's just a really dumb inside joke that me and my boyfriend have. So he got me a Hasbula car freshener. It smelled really good, but it lasts like two days. I yeah. still smell it. It's gone. You're probably just used to it. Anyway. I still smell it. Hi babes. It's been forever since Abby and I have gotten together and vlogged. So yeah, it has been kind of It's been a long time. I've tried vlogging the past three weekends and every time I fail because we've been celebrating someone's birthday, we've been going out, drinking, and then it just hasn't worked out. Yeah. So life has honestly been kind of hectic lately. Yeah, it's been so, real crazy. I know, and I've just been kind of living life off social media a lot lately. Same. I'm just like oh, kind of over it. I, I really wish I could just delete everything to be honest, but I'm in that phase right now where I just don't. I don't well, be besides on. YouTube, YouTube is the only platform that yeah. I really genuinely love. Mm -hmm. Don't care for Instagram. I love scrolling on TikTok, but I don't really care to <gasps> post on TikTok. Anyway, yeah, that's off topic, but. I went to GNC because Abby and I needed a little pick-me-up. It is actually really nice today. It's like 70 it's degrees beautiful. outside, 73. In Washington, beautiful. that is insane. It's supposed to be like 80 this weekend. So today's Thursday. Um, so I got some drinks it's to hold me over for the weekend. Warm. Yeah, so a couple of them weren't in the fridge. Oh, okay. Let's this see. is actually the only one that was in the fridge. Oh. Because the new flavor oh, is... that one. Cherry slush is good. Yeah, that's why I got it because it was cold. Oh. But um, they got some new flavors. So this is the Alani new Retro Rainbow. Oh, I don't cute. really know what it's supposed to be. Like Skittles, I think he said. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Um, the guy in there was talking my ear off for a very long time. <laughs> I feel like they're just so bored working He was there. so bored. I felt so bad. Yeah. Yeah, like they probably get like three customers in their entire day. Yeah. Like, like I'm surprised that place is still in business. Yeah. Oh, Jake's calling me. I'll call him back. Um, um, and then this one is Kiwi Guava. This one's so cute. I know, right? I got I really want this one. Yeah, I got you one of those. Thanks. Oh, actually, did I? I oh, are I we did. sharing it? Oh. Did you got it? two Juicy Peat? You can get those anywhere. You should have got two. Uh, that's what I thought I got. The guy was oh. distracting me. Anyway, we got some Juicy Peach two of these. I thought I got two of those because I really wanted to try that, but yeah. Go ahead. Okay, let's try it. I thought, try these were, it. I thought you were saying that they had like pre-workouts, not energy mm. drinks. They did have that, I think, in a pre-workout oh. in a tub, but I didn't get it because oh, I don't know if I like the flavor. I think I've, I think I've had that. that. No, this is, is like, new? these are new, he said. No, I think I've had the guava pre-workout or something. I don't know. I don't know. But we were going to train legs, but I actually worked out really hard yesterday. I've been going to the gym at night recently, which I hate. Mm. So I'm happy I'm getting a chance to go during the day. I've just been working, having clients. Abby too. She did my lashes. If you saw in the intro, I mean, they look so good. I'm. Do you obsessed. like us? Yes. Yeah. I was hoping you were gonna like them. That's why I gave you a nice it's tip. Hit or miss because Emily 
Sometimes she hates them. Sometimes she loves them. I just can't. I can't get it. This is good. Right every time. I feel like this would be this really one's good. This my favorite one. This would be really good chilled. I'm annoyed that it's not. It's but. so good. It's super good. Mmm. That's mm -hmm. gonna be like the summer go-to. Mm-hmm. That's so good. Anyway, we're gonna go work out. I don't think we're gonna vlog our workout or record our workout. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit, but I'm gonna be doing back because my butt is so sore from yesterday. I'm jealous. I need, that's my mission is to get my butt super sore. You gotta today. do the single leg movements and you're so against those. No, I will. Single leg movements. But honestly, lunges. every time I do like deadlifts or anything like that, like my butt is really sore. Yeah. So I'll do that. I'm really excited though to get a good workout in because today marks one week until I go to Vegas. Woo! So Ooh. I'm gonna try and vlog Vegas, but no promises. Oh gosh. But that's really motivating good me luck. to work out hard. So yeah, let's go, baby. I just got back from the gym. My workout was pretty trash. So I didn't really feel the need to make a protein smoothie because I really didn't work out that hard, unfortunately. It was really hot in the gym and I was just like over it. So I just decided to make a refreshing snack for a nice warm day. Um, I have this salami, which is the best. It's from Trader Joe's, of course. Same with this cheese. Comes in a pack of three. I just cut them in half. And then I've never tried these honey pearl grapes before. Ooh, those are really good. Those are super good. Then I obviously very messily put some of this um, balsamic glaze on top, also from Trader Joe's. We're gonna do an early dinner, so. This will be a nice snack to hold me over until then. We should be naughty, connect our bodies, you know. This is my favorite like everyday hair oil. It's from Amazon. It is the virgin grapeseed oil. And I love that it comes in a squirt. So I just like take two squirts at a time. Really rub it in your palms, warm it up. Hold on, let's focus. And you always want to start with the product at the ends of your hair and just kind of like comb it through before you like, you know, rub it in like this. Then you can kind of start like grabbing it a little bit more aggressively. But this oil just makes your hair, I don't know if you guys can see how shiny it makes the hair, but it makes it look so healthy and shiny. So I am obsessed with this oil. I need to get a new one because I'm already halfway done. And this is the second time I've purchased this because it's my fave. I'm supposed to be heading out the door in an hour. So I'm probably going to have to do like a very light makeup look, which is fine. I don't really feel the need to put on a full glam to go out to dinner with my mom and sister. Um, but I can't keep looking at myself like this because jump scare. So I'll see you guys in a minute. I'm not sure how this lighting is making me look because on the viewfinder I look pink. I don't know if it's because I'm wearing a pink shirt or what's going on there. But regardless, this isn't a makeup tutorial, so it's fine. I'm just gonna do a light makeup look, so I'll show you guys what I do if I don't really have much time. I have 40 minutes to get ready, which I still have to obviously style my hair, which takes the longest usually. My hair is just, it's a part-time job. But I'm gonna be sipping on this peach, what is this, peach paradise kombucha. I got this at Trader Joe's yesterday and it is one of my favorite flavors now. I'm obsessed, so good. And it's so refreshing. It is so sunny out there. Puts me in the best mood because if you live somewhere gloomy, rainy, and cold, you know, like, as soon as it's, like, February, March, it really makes you depressed. Like, seasonal depression is a real thing, and I'm just so glad that we're finally coming to an end of that season because, man, it feels like those three months feel so long, and... There's a saying here, it's like April showers bring May flowers, which is typically true, but we still get a lot of rain in May. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna start with the Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Gloss, just to plump up my lips. I feel like I'll always repurchase this lip gloss, and Abby and I were thinking about doing a video of things we will always repurchase forever, like things we've repurchased at least five times and will always repurchase. Because I feel like that'd be a good video for you guys to really see like the products that we absolutely find necessary in our routine. Um, but let me know if you guys would be interested in that. I did my eyebrows off camera. Um, it is the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. It's like a crayon. It's a pretty thick pencil so it doesn't give you like the fine tip that you can make strokes with. But what I like it is it's kind of like a pomade in a pencil but it gives 
the effect of a powder brow or an ombre brow. If you didn't know, I do have an eyebrow business, but I don't do ombre brows because they intimidate me. I stick to microblading and microblading and shading, which I'm sure you guys are thinking, why would you do that? Your eyebrows aren't even good, which is true. Like, my eyebrows are not very good at all. As you saw in the previous clip, I basically have no eyebrows. Um, and I don't have it done because, personally, I just... I don't know. I don't mind filling in my eyebrows. Anywho, um, I picked up the Dior lip oil. I know I'm so late to this. Abby has been raving about this forever. So I finally got it during the sale. I actually got the shade pink, but I love it. You guys, I feel like it makes my lips look super healthy and hydrated. I love the consistency of this so much. So I love this combo recently of the Too Faced lip injection and then the Dior lip oil on top. Oh my gosh, it's just amazing. Okay, I need to get some makeup on this face because I know I've been going tanning in a bed, but I put SPF on my face every single day. Yeah, I feel like my face just isn't getting very tan, which is fine because like I said, I'm not trying to damage my skin on my face, which I know it still does cause damage. You don't have to tell me. I'm very aware of how unhealthy tanning in the bed is for you. And I am not trying to influence any of you guys to do so. I just wanted to do it because I have a few trips coming up. And it's going to be in really hot weather. Like 90s to 100 degrees. And I know I will burn otherwise. And I don't really feel like putting on a, a spray tan that's just going to melt off on all my clothes. You know what I'm saying? So I just used the Huda beauty blur jam it's just like a pore filling primer so i'm going to use the elf halo glow liquid filter in the shade medium four just kind of put this all over my face i love the way that this looks under makeup it just adds some glow from within and makes you look healthy so we love that but i honestly think that is a big reason why Abby and I haven't been filming and vlogging a lot lately, which I'm so sorry. We we really do have those spurts and like we go through phases where we just don't want to post online, on Instagram, on YouTube, TikTok, anywhere. Also, I don't want to blame anything, but the weather did have a big part in that because it has just been so cold, rainy, depressing out there, and it just really doesn't make me motivated. I just feel like the weather really does affect me more than I thought it did. The older I get, the more it does affect me, which is weird. Is anyone else like that? Like, the older you got, the more that the gloom affected you, or is that just me? I don't know, but... I'm so happy to see the sun today, and all weekend, can't wait. So I'm going to use the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation in 15N and mix it with the YSL All Hours in MN7. These are both neutral shades. The Mario one is just a little bit darker. So I just do like one pump of each on a, a flat top kabuki. And I've been loving these brushes from this one brand on Amazon, Jessup. I can link them below for you guys. I'll try and link everything below that I'm using for you guys, but... These brushes, I've been loving. The eye ones, the face ones, they're all really good and very affordable. So I'm just gonna dab that on. I love the coverage that this gives. It's just oh, so good. So for concealer, I'm using the Huda Felt Filter Concealer. I have two shades here. Sugar Biscuit is what I have on right now, just on the areas that I don't need it to be super bright. I would if I like was doing a full glam look, but since I'm not, I'm just going to put a little bit of the lighter shade under my eyes. This is Coconut Flakes. Just a little bit. This might be a lot for some people, but for me, this is just a little. I'm supposed to be leaving in like five minutes. That's definitely not happening. So I'm just going to blend this out real quick. Not going to be super precise about it because... I don't have time. Okay, that's as good as it's gonna get for blending. Now to set, I'm gonna use the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder in the shade Classic Yellow. I have heard about this before so many times, but have never tried it for some reason. And um, I was at Ulta one time and I saw it and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try it. Cause I didn't know it was at Ulta, I thought it was only online. And I have completely fallen in love with it. It is so brightening and smoothing. 
Abby's a big fan of like the pink powders for your under eye, but I'm more of like a yellow kind of girl. I don't know why. I just prefer the way that it looks, especially with tan skin. But I'm just using this little Huda puff. I don't think that they're on her website anymore, unfortunately. I got it sent to me in PR, so sorry about that because Abby and I are obsessed with these little puffs. Now for bronzer, I'm going to use my Gucci bronzer in the shade 03. I love this bronzer. I've talked about it before. Clearly, it's very loved. But it is the perfect shade and I just love the formula of this. Next, I'm going to be using the Dior blush that Abby and I love so, so much. It's not very pigmented, but I love that. Because with some super pigmented blushes, I have definitely overdone it and looked a little crazy. And I know some people say this, there's no such thing as too much blush. Just there is. Yes, there is, mamas. Okay, I'm taking the NYX Smoke Liner in White Smoke. Putting that on my waterline. To open up my eyes a little bit. Since I just got my eyelashes done, it tends to make my eyes look really dark. And we don't like that. Alright, throwback guys. Hanging in Hawaii palette. One of the best of the best. We'll always, always repurchase this as well. It's too good. So I'm going to use one of these Adjust Up brushes again and use the shade... Shaka, which is just like a like a tan shade and just kind of go crazy in the crease I'm not gonna do that anything crazy or dark with my shadow now I'm gonna use this shade coconut which is this shade which is a really warm medium tone brown and that's the darkest shade I'm gonna use in my crease I'm just gonna put it kind of in the outer corner, drag it out a little bit to open up the eyes. Oops, this is looking pretty messy, but it's okay. I'm gonna take a flat shader brush and use that same shade of coconut just to go underneath my eyes. Only about halfway in of my eye. Because if I, I found if I take it all the way in, it kind of closes my eyes and makes them look smaller. So I only go about halfway. Now I'm taking a small round brush and I'm just going to use the shade Hula and Sandy and kind of mix them. It's just like a champagne gold color. And I'm just going to put this in my inner corner and kind of bring it up just a little bit. Just kind of like following the curve of your eye. Just bringing it in a little bit. Not all over the lid, just, just slightly. Now I'm taking the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. If you know, you know. Abby and I have been talking about this for a long time. It's the only mascara I will use on my bottom lashes because it doesn't transfer. And when you're in the shower or removing it, it just comes off in clumps. It doesn't like bleed all over your, your face and make you look crazy. It just comes off so nice, but it will not come off like when you're wearing it on your eyes. So this formula is just the best that we have found and it's such a tiny little applicator that you can really get all those bottom lashes um so yeah i think i'm just gonna leave my makeup like that i'm gonna take the makeup revolution infinite mattifying setting spray try to not get this all over my hair so that completes the makeup look very simple but still summery and, you know, glowy. I think for her lips, I'm just going to use this lip oil today. I don't really feel the need to put lipstick on um, because we're going to be eating and drinking. And, yeah, there's no point, really. So, a little bit more of that. So good, you guys. I am obsessed with this. Abby was not wrong about this product. You guys need it. And I know this for sale is over, but I saw it on Nordstrom. Yesterday for like $30, $32 or something like that. So it's still discounted. So I'll link it below if it's still um, on sale. But let's go get this hair ready because it ain't looking right. Okay, so I ended up not having time to style my hair. So I kept it natural. I just put it in a ponytail, which 
clearly the blend is not very good but also what's the point of putting heat on my hair if I'm gonna get it done tomorrow and she's gonna style it for me like wash it all that stuff so um, my outfit is very simple just a top from Amazon Abby and I talked about this in our it girl Amazon video so I wear it all the time it's just super easy and it's my go-to if I'm running late and don't know what to wear guys I really hate these jeans they're from Abercrombie but they're like the only ones that fit me right now because I have gained weight so these are the only pair of jeans besides my Zara ones that I actually ended up breaking on accident the zipper broke when I was putting them on so that was fun um, but yeah I literally don't fit any of my jeans and then these heels are from uh, White Fox Boutique Abby and I love them. I have them in white and black. These jeans are at a very awkward length. Like, they needed to be an inch longer. But you know what? We're just going to roll with it. But anyway, let's get in the car and go to Abby's. Because we're going to carpool to my mom's house. Which is like 20 minutes away. So, see you guys in a minute. Thank you guys. This is giving me a taste of summer. And I am so excited. This is my mom and stepdad's house. And I'm just so obsessed. Love that they live on the lake, they have their own dock, so we always dock up here in the summer. Usually if you see us uh, boating in vlogs, this is where we're boating. But it's so pretty, I love it. Her house is just so cute and beachy, I'm just obsessed. Oh my gosh, does every mom have one of these Suzanne Summers like oh. leg thigh masters? Is that what it's, thigh master? This is a throwback, I'm so dead. I remember you, you know using what? this when we were- That is good for you. <laughs> Um, and also she copied me with her side table from Target. You Did you use my link? Yes, I told it, yeah. Oh, it thanks so mom. And then I also but, sold her uh, my where did I get these? CB2 coffee That's table. Like, Miss it. I thought you said but these, yeah, more weaker. these yeah, are so fun. nice. I love them. I like you know what? They're very comfortable overall because they're broad and then they hit your back. Oh. You and I love this cabinet. Where'd you get this? Amazon. Wow, mom. Okay, and these are so cute too. These are the same ones Abby has. Yeah. Abby yeah. copied me. On that. Uh, she did. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, show them your Prada bag. What are you doing? Are you <laughs> vlogging? You taking pictures? This is mom's Prada bag. She's cool, I guess. And oh, she's rocking the Prada shades. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you weren't overthinking. Just <laughs> Yeah. Overthinking big bald pink nails and then my grubbies. <laughs> oh, it's okay, mom. It'd be weird if you had these. Yeah, you can't have long nails like that. I'm gonna go, who is that guy with you? I saw him. <laughs> Yeah, that was my mom's. Hair. Should I be toxic? <laughs> Should I post on Instagram like I'm with a man? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, don't mess with me. <laughs> she has his bag. She has his bag. This is a skinny. What is it called? Skinny what? Coconut or no? Cucumber. cucumber skinny cucumber lime mojito or something. What'd you get, sis? This lighting is nice, fantastic. White wine. You're beautiful day. Glowing. <laughs> okay, just just FYI, she's wearing glasses because she got her eyes dilated. The doctor. She's not trying to be cool. Oh yes, you are. Okay, she's right. <laughs> Such a nice day. I'm obsessed with the view. I like the view. Yum. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. It's like so good. It's a bird. We can't touch food or drinks to it. No, you can't. And I didn't Honestly, know we positioned it, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, let's yeah. get at the sunlight. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why my jeans don't fit. <laughs> okay, guys. Bye. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. Like, comment, subscribe.